Okay, uh, let's start. Recently, I heard a lot of uh, failure stories, um, basically on the earlier generation Bryson amplifiers uh, for BST or similar, 3BST or 7BST, or those product earlier than those. And um, say when I upgrade my uh, 4BST to a more capable amp, I uh, get some chance to compare it with the uh, 4B SST and particularly the input stage here I show here and I immediately notice a design flaw this is significant flaw it causes your damage to your amplifier of the earlier generations and I show the floor as um, circled in red so on the right hand side is the 4B SST input stage it's a differential amp uh, similarly for the 4 BST there's not much difference um, and it's DC coupled <clears throat> so you can see the difference here is um, they correct this problem by tie the positive input down to the ground with a 1 mega ohm resistor and you don't see this one mega ohm resistor in the earlier generation product. And the function of this one mega ohm resistor is to make sure the positive end is always zero voltage potential when there's no signal. And that will ensure your output to be always zero potential and um, the problem if you lose this ground connection the output could swing a very high voltage due to some uh, resonances or whatever occurs and that voltage will transmit it directly into the power amp and result in overload of the last current stage so basically your transistor will be extremely high current and burn and because the offset of the output stage it could also damage the speakers so this is serious flaw and we need to correct it and the correction is relatively straightforward so you just solder a one mega ohm resistor of the positive input could be located immediately to the input or before this 1k ohm that's fine you can find a place to tie it down to ground and uh, fortunately if you look at the design physically it's not a difficult job it's quite straightforward so on the left hand side I show you the um, the amplifier the 4BST and if you open up the cover, the top cover, you immediately notice this input amp board circle in red again. And if you zoom in, so basically it's on the right hand side and the channel one amplifier, channel two, and the, there's the easy spot I found uh, you could easily solder a one mega ohm uh, resistor on each of those channel so the input to ground and the input to ground so the resistor you don't have to be a high power it's just a, a low power resistor like a one eighth watt or one quarter watts anything you can find or it doesn't maybe even need to be one mega ohm it could be 500k or whatever but you don't want it to be too low because otherwise it might affect your input impedance so um, as you can see this is a relatively straightforward and you can solder these resistor without even removing the board you can just just do it um, by open up this top cover and uh, hopefully you like the video and you like the tip and if you're more handy and want to do more work on your beautiful amplifier 
you can follow up with my other videos to upgrade these amplifier the power amps to much much better performance